the thing that I'm the most proud of would probably be my um, software program called Charles, which um, which I've been developing for about nine years, and it's a it's a tool for web developers. So it's it's really niche. Like it's not it's not um, it's not mass market like iPhone applications. Well, when I started, it was sort of it was unique. It's not so unique anymore because there's a few other um, pretenders to the throne, um, including one made by Microsoft. So I'm in direct competition with the big guys. But uh, my software is it, it's also it's used um, by some massive companies. I think I was really excited when Boeing bought bought a license to to use in their web development team, and Volvo have a license, and HP have a license, and Apple and Adobe have have licenses. So they're all. So they're using software of mine, and I like to, every time they buy a license, I sort of deduct that off the money that I've given them over the years. And um, no, I've, I haven't broken even with any of them yet. iPhone application development, I think, has probably been the, um, the thing that I've been most recently quite passionate about. When the iPhone app store was announced, uh, you know, lots and lots of people all around the world, I think it launched with about 1,000 developers, so about 1,000 people all around the world were spending you know, nights and weekends and you know, pouring a whole lot of passion into building software for this market that we really didn't know what it was going to be like. A friend of mine down in Wellington, you know, sort of made half a million dollars in, in uh, the last half of last year just selling iPhone apps. I guess it was in seventh form when we were talking with careers advisors and sort of starting to look at, you know, what you can do at university and that sort of thing that it sort of started to become clear that you could actually do that you could sort of give up all of the other things that you're doing and turn what was previously sort of a hobby and something that you did you know, in the evenings um, into something that you did while you were studying. And that, I think that just sort of seemed, it seemed kind of quite magical. I studied at, uh, at the University of Auckland. I did a, a commerce and science conjoint with um, computer science as my major and my science degree. I sort of fell into working for myself uh, when the company that I worked for, because I, I worked for a really exciting company called Web Media, which was one of the largest web design companies in New Zealand at the time of the dot com crash. And uh, you know, we did all kinds of exciting things. I was in Melbourne for a while with them, I was in San Francisco for a while, Hong Kong, until that all sort of fell to pieces. And I was at university for five years and I just kind of graduated earlier that, that previous year. And uh, so I didn't have a CV um, that, that had updated since I'd been at university. And so we thought, well, let's just Let's just try and do this ourselves. So I owe a lot to, owe a lot to them in the dot-com crash in that, in that sense. It was October 2001 that we registered our Cactus Lab as a company. It cost $50 to register a company or something like that, so I registered three of them. Not to discount the artistic sort of subjects, or not, and so things like, things like the English and history kind of things, that, um, that the more you know about a broader variety of, of subjects, the more, the more useful you can be. In terms of, in terms of well-roundedness of, of subjects, uh, I think there's something that's, um, that university offers quite well, is that you know, if you major in something, you've got you know, tons of other papers to take in other subjects. It's the same as everything, having a bit of a broad base is really useful, uh, especially in like a web industry, because we're, we're a service industry and so we meet with clients from all kinds of other industries and we need, to, uh, we need to try and understand a bit of what they do in order to deliver them solutions on the web.